Yeah, I mean, after three days, uh, Eddie feels the same. Still high. So he realizes uh, he no longer needs to smoke drugs. Mm -hmm. Well, talk about simplifying your life. Uh, he doesn't need to score anymore. Uh, worry about concealing them from the cops. Eddie feels liberated. Like when he left his manuscript behind on the boat from Tangiers to Spain. He's traveling light and enjoying it. This is a peak realization in the life of Eddie. I mean, look, he smoked hashish for the last 20 to 25 years. Even back in uh, Lynn, Massachusetts, he'd go down to Boston, talk his way onto freighters with the Indian crew, and trade them used clothes. Boxes of blue jeans for Indian hashish. Goes back that far. Well, as prophesized by uh, the others in the Bombay Freak House, Eddie and Camila <laughs> finally enjoy sex. Yeah. Eddie recalls a moment. Gazila uh, gazes at her naked body in the full length mirror. Sighing, I look like an old bag. An old boyfriend told me that. Eddie, huh? He reassures her. You see how we destroy one another. If not with weapons, with words like that. You don't look like an old bag to me. Camila comes down and lies on the bed. I take her in my arms, kiss her. Something I would never have done before with someone who doesn't really turn me on. Uh, I rise above her, frame her face with my hands and enter her luscious pussy. She becomes as lovely as a princess. <laughs> Inexperienced Camila moans, so this is what fucking is. Well, lying peacefully together in the afterglow, Eddie takes, uh, Camilla takes hold of Eddie's prick, and uh, Eddie gently pushes her away. Go to sleep, Camilla. Uh, this merciful sexual empowerment for Camilla creates a firestorm of jealousy. The envious, I told you so. Whispers seem never to end. Eddie's sexual prowess is peaking. His sexual animal magnetism intense. All the women in the house want to make love with him. And their boyfriends know it. Yeah. Huh. Oh, oh, yeah. Hmm. Eddie ponders uh, the potential harem of young women at his feet in the Bombay Freak House and concludes, I can no longer have sex with anyone. I can't play that love game. I have no illusions about them, these young girls, but they have illusions about me. And I can't take advantage of that. You know, cause unnecessary grief. No, um, I cannot be sexually involved with anyone anymore. And, uh, wow, his realization uh, carries on. Uh, with no need for sex or drugs, I feel incredibly free. Eddie becomes rapturous. Uh, I mean, the others have gone off to Bombay to score hashish, and he sits alone in the house feeling so absolutely serene. His, his evolution is spectacular in the Bombay beach pad. 42 years old, Eddie has become absolutely unattached to sex and drugs. 
the shift in behavior, nearly unbelievable considering his wild past, which you've just heard about. Uh, and look, there's no religious ritual or uh, spiritual drama or initiation in his lifestyle transformation. Eddie, just being Eddie. And that makes this transformation even more powerful. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, when charismatic Eddie uh, tries to say goodbye to the bedazzled denizens of the Bombay Freak House, uh, they reach for the sky <laughs> to persuade him, stay here. Uh, American Dave uh, wildly proposes that Eddie become their guru. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because of his, he must be enlightened if he doesn't like want sex or drugs anymore. <laughs> and that way the beach house could be recognized as an ashram. And uh, I mean, there's kind of a rumor that if you're a guru in an ashram, uh, you don't have to bother with Indian visas anymore. You're a devotee of a guru. Well, uh, Eddie, briefly, considers their fervent supplication on, on his way out the door. <laughs> yeah. Over his shoulder, Eddie says, well, maybe I'll see some of you in Kathmandu. Ah, alone at last, Eddie. This expatriate Steppenwolf. <laughs> uh, he uh, travels 1,400 kilometers by train to Delhi. Cost four bucks back in the day. And uh, 27 hours later, <laughs> he, uh, he, he rests in the overhead luggage rack. You find out in India the best way to, to go is go through the window of the train. Don't bother with the door. There's too many people. Go right up into a luggage rack and make the luggage rack itself your bed. <laughs> no matter how many in you, they can't like pull you out of there. <laughs> anyway, uh, Eddie reflects on his new freedom, which is to simply exist. Not attached to sex and drugs, huh? For the first time in his entire life.